before he took home some new hardware at the Canadian Country Music Awards, Lacombe, Alberta's Gord Bamford stopped by St. Augustine School for a different celebration. Dressed the part in their best Western wear, students could barely contain their excitement as Bamford performed some of his biggest hits. Where a farm used to be, as far as you could see, and those wheat rows and silos grew in the business tree. But the main reason for the visit was to present a $100,000 check to Music Counts, an organization that works to keep music programs alive in schools across Canada. You know, music was such a big thing for me growing up. You know, I, I, I was in uh, I, I, my whole life, like since grade one, I was, I was music festivals and, you know, music classes. And, and uh, it is sad today that, you know, it's some of the stuff that's getting cut out of our, our, our education curriculum. And it's, uh, you know, these guys are really stepping up to the plate and, and they're doing great things. And if I can be a small part of helping that out, then we'll do it. And I think it's, it's tremendous. For St. Augustine's Laura Harris-Semiak, the reality of trying to teach music classes under a barely there budget is something she knows all too well. Sadly, many music programs here right across Canada do not have the equipment that they need in order for the students to each have an instrument. The Band-Aid Music Grant provides schools with an immediate infusion of money that actually will be able to support music programs for many, many years to come. And here it is, $100,000 that will go to the Music Counts Band-Aid program, thanks to Gord behind me here. And this money will go to help keep music programs alive across the country, just like here at St. Augustine. Gord's uh, incredible generosity in Music Counts, like we've never had an artist step up like this before. We have a ton of artists who help support Music Counts and are ambassadors and lend their time to help come to schools. But to donate $100,000 over the next three years is, is pretty incredible. So we're thrilled. Music's really healing. You know, music, sometimes there's kids that, you know, may not be the best hockey player, the best ring up player, the best dancer. I mean, um, but they can find happiness in music. And uh, it's, it's, it's been like that forever. I mean, songs heal you, songs are soothing. They, they take you to places where, you know, they make you feel better, and whether you're playing a guitar or a piano or, or anything. Now it's urban jungle lit me on. And after receiving a private performance from one of country music's biggest stars, well, this is one day the students won't forget anytime soon. I think it was awesome. It's like, I can't believe he actually wrote that song. It's so I like cool. I like his rhythm in the songs, and I like his songs, I like the way he sings. When he sings, he feels. I couldn't have said it better myself. For Shaw TV, I'm Dana Kiesbrecht.